Our bodies measure the passage of time. In fact, nearly every cell in our body contains a clock. However, it is the brain that keeps our cells in sync with the environment. Think of the body like an orchestra. Each musician has the ability to create music. However, without the conductor, the musicians will likely play out of time with each other. An important feature of our natural environment is the 24-hour changes in solar conditions, which we can divide into day and into night. The brain receives light information through the eyes that tells it the time of day. This information is received by the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN for short, in a region of the brain called the hypothalamus. The SCN then adjusts its internal clock to the correct time of day and sends a timekeeping signal to the cellular clocks in the rest of the body. The resulting circadian rhythms in our behaviour and physiology last approximately a day. Now without a circadian system, our bodies wouldn't know day from night, which would eventually become pretty tiring. Interestingly, our clocks are set differently depending on our age. While our chronotype varies between individuals, in general teenagers' internal clocks are set later. While the older we become, we shift our activity towards the early morning. This relationship is thought to occur partly due to shifts in our circadian clock mechanisms. So next time someone's trying to get you up in the morning, you have a scientific excuse for that lion. My name's Adam and I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester.